Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for today's second video. And um, yes, we're looking at a thermo Sudoku here, but don't be so certain. This is an uncertainty thermo Sudoku, which means in this case that as well as normal Sudoku rules and thermo Sudoku rules, there's another rule and we don't know what it is. We do get a choice though. This has come in from uh, Matthew Kavanagh Johnson, who is one of a pair of twins whose puzzles we've solved before, both of them. And um, I think this has been published already on Logic Masters Germany, but with an extra thermo in it. So it must have been a slightly easier version. And um, that was published under the name, uh, Matthew was using the name Jojo McFroyo, which I love. So maybe we'll call him that for this video as well. Um, now, what is the extra rules rule? It's one of three possibilities. As well as normal and thermo Sudoku, we've either got non-consecutive Sudoku, so no two cells that are touching each other like those two can contain consecutive digits, or anti-knight Sudoku, so no two cells and a chess knights move apart can contain identical digits, or king Sudoku, so no two cells that touch each other diagonally can contain identical digits. So we don't know which one of those three types is added to the normal and thermo Sudoku. So we hope to deduce it. Do have a go on the link below the video if you want to try the puzzle. Um, if you want to just watch my solve, carry on, because I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Um, let's start as often with the two long thermos. Now these look incredibly long, and I think, as somebody told me, that's because when they're on the diagonal, they um, you're looking at a length of root two for every step rather than just one cell. So one, I do actually need to count these, sorry, six, seven, eight. I think this is the same, yeah, they're both eight cells long, so, um, we can actually sketch in the possibilities with one degree of freedom in each step of the thermo. This is probably the slower way of doing it, but never mind, it's methodical. So, there we go. Does that give us any pairs in columns or rows? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, the compiler's been clever there. Um, that's less helpful than I was hoping. There's an interesting quadruple of numbers from the five highest Sudoku numbers there, but it doesn't resolve anything, I don't think. <clears throat> so how do we then get any more information? Um, I think sometimes in these uncertainty Sudokus, you don't know whether to try and do normal Sudoku first or use the thermos more, or move to trying the possibilities. Well, I do know from creating some non-consecutive thermos for the app that this is a very constrained thermometer in non-consecutive. This would have to be 13579, and the rule is quite simply that if a thermo is on the straight, Unlike these that are on the diagonal, every step has to be two apart to avoid breaking the non-consecutive rule. And the only way you're going to get a five cell one is one, three, five, seven, nine. <clears throat> and it's quite possible that three would make this a two, which would make this a one. Oh, that five would make this a six. Yes, there we go. If you had five here, you'd have to have six here. If you had seven here, which is the only way this could be non-consecutive, you'd have to have another six on the thermo there, and that would break the thermo. So, good. One thing ruled out. This is not non-consecutive. King or knight, then? Ah, well, if it's king, these have to be different. And that means that one of them goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the end. Oh, and look, the ends are next to each other as well. So the ends would have to be nine and eight. Okay, so that is possible. One of them could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the other could go 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But if this was a one and that was a two, this would have to be a two because there's only ever one steps along these thermos and that would break. Could this be a one, that would be a two, three, four. Oh, this is all right. So if it's King Sudoku, this begins with two and ends with nine. This begins with one and ends with eight. Oh no, this would have to be eight and that would break as well. Oh, I see, yes, whichever way round you finished, <clears throat> you'd be putting nine on the end of the thermo and eight on the previous one, which would clash with the eight on the end of the other one. That's lovely. Uh, anyway, bang, it's not King Sudoku. So we've removed the uncertainty. We know that we have a night thermo puzzle here. That's good. Haven't got a digit in the grid. But we have got some information. Right, how can we use that? Not very easily, actually. I mean, the, the thermos where we have sketched everything. Yeah, all of these numbers, all of these cells would be the same color on a chessboard if we checkerboarded the whole grid. And that's a nuisance in a knight Sudoku because knights move from one color to a different color every time. So we can't actually use any of these with the night restriction, which is annoying. What does that mean for us? Where can we go instead? Something down here? Yeah, I mean, this cell sees all of those three using the night's move and, and that. But it could still be, I suppose, the other one out of two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, that is interesting though. This one sees all of those. I mean, it couldn't be as high as seven anyway. I don't see how to use that after all. Oh, this is an interesting cell. That's If that's a five, that's going to make that a four, and we can do all of the beginning of that thermo. But if it's a six, it's going to make that seven, and we can do the end of that one. Have we got a way of telling? So, if it was five, that would fix a lot more cells. This would be four, this would be four, all of these would be minimums, three, two, one, three, two, one. Oh, look, that's interesting. Where does a four go in box two? If those are both fours, that's ruling out all of those cells by regular Sudoku, those two by knight's move, and that one's impossible. So that would put fours here, here, and here. That can't be a four by knight's move. Four would be up there. That's all. This is going to break. This is going to break for an absolutely peculiar reason. Um, right. This one I'm pointing at and this one are both ones because these are all minimums at the beginnings of the thermos. Now that means this can't be a one up here. It would have to be a two or three. As would one of these two cells because one of these is a four. So the other of two or three would have to be in one of these two cells and however you place the two and three there they're breaking this two that would be here that's insane but it, it i can't believe that chain is necessary for this puzzle but i have seen it and i am going to use it because i can't see anything else and that what i've learned is that they both can't be fours and therefore this can't be a five so this is a six, which pushes out towards the end of its thermo. And we get all those digits. We've suddenly got four digits. In fact, we've got seven, because we can do those three as well, because that couldn't be six anymore. And that is progress. 
Seven and seven gives us a seven up here. Ah, eight and nine are both done for columns eight and nine. So in column seven, they go up here, and one of them can see that one. So we know which way round they go. That's great. Um, can we use them? Yes, we can use nine in box one. It's now not in any of those cells, and it can never be on the beginning parts of thermos. It can only be on the end cells. So nine in box one is there. Oh, and look, those two cells are both ruled out by knight's moves. So we know we know that nine goes on there. Now, I think that was interesting if these were both going to be four, because the only place you could put a four was there. So these can't be both fours. I don't think they can be both fives either. Surely it's the same thing. Five, yes. There's no way you could put a five. Those two have to be different. That is an absolutely bizarre remote pair. I've never seen the like of that. Because you just couldn't fit whatever it was into this box if they were the same. So they have to be different. How does that help? Well, they both see this cell. So that's one, two, or three. They both see this one. Uh, that's not so helpful. I don't see seven as well. So one, two, three, or six. This one on the knight's move, which sees seven and eight. Mm, okay, that's less helpful. But is there anything? Oh, well, the thermo, of course. The thermo acts as, as another line of sight in a way. Yes, whichever one is a four is stopping this one being a four. So we can finish the beginning of that thermo as three, two, one, and and nothing. That doesn't knock onto that thermo. Oh, it makes this a naked single, does it? One, two, three in the box. Four, five on the weird remote pair. Seven by night's move. Oh no, I've made a mistake. It can be eight. Bother. But it can't be one, two, or three. So it's six or eight. Can't be nine. Um, okay, well, at least I spotted that. Now, what else? Eight. We don't. I mean, eight could be in any of those. Oh, but over here, yes. Eight can't be in any of these cells. Uh, partly because. Well, because of that 8, and because this one can't be an 8, because that would need to be a 9. So we're left with those two cells for 8, and these two in the middle, I believe, in, in box 2. And they both see that cell. Oh, that is great. Yes, that's great, because this one sees all of those cells, and this one. So 8 now is in one of those two. Yes which knocks it out of that one and places it here, where I was trying to put a six a moment ago, thank goodness I didn't. Eight there, eight in one of those. Ah, yes, where can eight go in these three? Not here because of the thermo, not here because of the eight. Bang! And eight goes on, no, it could go in any of those three. Is that it for eights? It doesn't, I don't think I can restrict it much in this box yet. Well, a bit. Those and that can't be eight, or that. No, I think all the others seem possible. Wow, this is weird. Oh, uh, this cannot. Oh, lovely. This can't be three, two, or one anymore, thanks to the knight's move. So it's that one is six or nine. Yeah, I can't see why. If if I knew that was six, I could sort that, but I can't do that. So where does nine go in the middle? Those are all ruled out, and that one's ruling out those two. So it's in one of those, I think. Um, nine down here is ruled out of all those, can't be on the bulb of a thermo, so we've got another pair. 
Now and over here, all of those are impossible, and the bulb. So one of those three is a nine. And oh yeah, we've got a lot of nines. And that one by knight's move, and that one because it's not the end of a thermo. So nine is in one of those two. That does fix the nine in the middle. I am confident this is right. He said unconfidently. That's not nine. This is nine. That's not nine. Oh, we can't finish, but the remaining nines in the puzzle are in a little X wing there. Done eights as far as we can. Seven. Ah, that seven cannot be in any, oops, any of these cells by Knight Sudoku rules. So it must be, yeah, it must be up in one of those two. So that's ruling out those. This one, oh, that one is seeing all of those. So we can place a seven in box five. How unexpected. And that's ruling out that, so we can place it in box two which sorts out box three isn't it lovely when knight's move does this stuff it's so ah, i don't know it's just really organic or something right seven in one of those cells seven in one of those um oh well seven can't be there or even here because you'd need an eight there so any of those i suppose actually those two both see that so not there Mm, that's not quite as helpful as I was hoping. Now, is there anything else from these two being different that matters? Oh, well, this one sees both of those two cells. And therefore, whatever it is has to be in that cell. So we've got a four or five pair now. So where does six go in column six? That one says not there or there. So we can put a six in here. And the next six, any one of those. And it doesn't help apart from that. These though are from four, five, or six, and they include a six. Which means six isn't here. It's not there. That's not very helpful, but I might as well mark it now I've seen it. What can we do now? Oh, that six is ruled out of there, so it's in one of those. If that was a six, I would know that was a six, but I don't. Ooh. If this was a six, I'm getting all of these sixes. Those ones are already done. It would be there. Oh. But then my knowledge runs out, could be any of those. And that does seem to work, so not that useful. It's kind of Oh, one in this central box can't be in any of those, so it's limited to two spots. In fact, in this column, those have to be one and two. That's all that's left. They both see this cell. One, two, eight, nine, six. Ah, three, four, five, or seven. Not very helpful, to be fair. Oh, oh, this is a very important pattern, I think, because of this cell. Where can, whatever this is, four or five, where does it go in this box? These are all ruled out now, two by regular Sudoku, two by Knight's move. So whatever this is, it has to go in here as well. So let's mark that as four or five. Um, now, whatever that is, 
goes in one of these two. Oh no, more, look, look at this, yes, this position here. Because these sort of diagonals are all gone and we're only left with the other diagonals, this is just as important a position. Whatever is in this cell is also not in those. So that has to be the same as that as well. So that's four, five. Now we get a four, five pair in column six, seven. These are from one, two, and three. But I don't know which way around. But we do know that that is the same as this. And that is the same as that. These are all the same. Let's change the color. Let's go orange. Get rid of the color there. If these are all the same, then one of these three is the same. This is probably how I should have approached this puzzle at the start, rather than the, the chain I did. Ah, oh, if that's... If we've got another... Ah, how can we use that? One of these. I'm definitely leaving this marking in. This is this feels important. Oh, hang on. This one. Oh yeah, one's all ruled out of those cells. So one is going in the top row there, and therefore, given that, we can place the one and two as well. Look, two. <laughs> Two, that two is ruled out of all those cells and the thermo constraint means it can't be there. So in fact, that's a one, two pair. This one can't be a one, I remember earlier, because of that one. So that's a one, two pair. Now two there and there gives us two here, yes. Oh, come on. Oh, but look at these four fives again now. They're quite limited could be there or there. Oh, hang on, this cell, whatever it is, it sees both of these. Yes, we said that earlier. Yeah, okay, that's how I got the four or five there, that's all right. But it, it just feels like, how could that be one of these? I don't know, my head's exploding here. What is the logic I'm looking for here? I don't even know. Oh, hang on. If these two are the same, then where does that go here? Not in any of those cells or that one. That one can't be four or five. In one of those, and they both see this. And this is right. The, yes, one of these is four or five, whichever it is, is there. Oh, how does that help? Oh, yes, whatever it is, is there. And therefore, whatever it is, is not there or there. This one, because it must see one of those two. This one, because it sees that one. Therefore, that is four or five, not six, and we can place the six. This puzzle is absolutely mental. Right, three, four, and five here. One of them's a three, three's up here somewhere. Now, how am I meant to be using these three, fours, and fives? That's six, maybe. Yes, that takes six out of those and puts it in there. And we've got six here. I nearly thought I'd broken it there, which would have made me cry. Right, that's not six. One of those two is. Ah, oh, I can't see where six goes there. Ah, oh, I'm nearly on this. I'm nearly on this now. Six there means no six in any of those. Six, seven, nine, right, one, no, that's not limited, two. 
No, surely I'm onto something here. These two are the same. So hang on, do I know? No, I know that one of those is the same. Yeah, so this one, that's what we worked out before. That meant that this wasn't the same. This isn't the same because it's in the same column as an orange. So this is another orange. And yes, we can place the orange in box five as there. Don't know whether it's four or five, but I do know it's not eight. Get rid of the eight, put the eight in here. We'll call that four or five, because all oranges are. And one of those, oh no, 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 no. This can't be a five or four, because that can't be a one, two or three, because of the thermo rule. So then the next orange is here, that's four or five. And we're left with one there and one there. Together with the three. Oh, so that one is orange as well. Yes. Oh, yes, this is orange. Four or five, not three. Oh, this is mad. I'm basically working with a hypothetical digit that is either four or five. But now I've got a pair of them in the box, so that's six, which fixes that as six. One of these two is six. Is this a six, seven, eight, triple? No, in fact, eight is not there because eight is now here. Doesn't resolve this eight possibility. Ah, oh, six. There, there, ah, oh, six in the top row is now here. So I can take that one out at least. Yeah, six is in, two more sixes in a little pattern there that I can't resolve at the moment. Um, oh, now what about these four fives? Do I know which, which one is orange? Blinking don't. This is absolutely insane. Um, just feels like I must have enough information to disambiguate that thing. I just, I still don't know what, which digit it is, whether it is four or five, and that is so irritating. So, I mean, I don't want to have to try them. That's madness at this point. Eight and seven have to be there. Did I work out this couldn't be seven? No, it can be. One, two, six, nine, three. So these are from seven, eight, four, and five. <sighs> Cry! Don't even know what I'm saying now. Right, one of these is a one, because of that one. Um, oh, what about two? That two says these aren't two, those aren't, and that's not. This can't be because of the thermo. So two is restricted to one of those two, which doesn't help much except say that that can't be a two, but as it could still be a one, that's not all that helpful. One of these is whichever one of four or five isn't orange. Oh, one there is putting one on the horizontal here. Um, which still doesn't help me. That can still be one or two cannot see a way to resolve that yet. This is probably one of the points in the video where I'm just passing over something very obvious and continually not seeing it and people think I'm mocking them or something. No, it's just because I'm not that good. Seven, eight, six, nine, one. I just can't see it. If all of those are the same, why can't I rule one of five or four out? Using the thermo, maybe. If it was four, which would be the most restrictive on the thermo, if all of those were four, 
We'd have fives there. We'd have three, two, one. That would be a one. Four there, five there. Five there. It's fine. It works fine. Ah, oh, absolutely burning to know the result. Ah, oh, that can't be a three because of that. Actually, where does three go in this box? Not in either of those because of that, and not in there because of that. So, three we can place. Is that... That's not going to crack it wide open. It gives us a... What am I doing? One of those is three. Right. Um... Ah, that three makes this a four on the thermo. And that resolves the oranges. They are fives. Hoo-wee! Five. So those two are fours. We can take four out of there. We've got a four, seven, eight, triple here now. Um, this one is one or three. I can't see how to decide that. Two and four to go in these. That can't be, four says that can't be a four. So two there, four there. This is one. Yes, we're getting boxes full of digits now. That is just exciting. Um, oops, one, okay, corner mark. Now one on the knight's move sees that. So we get the whole box done. That fixes that. Two, these are still not resolved. About a one to finish the column in the useless position on the bulb. Three, four, or seven here. Three or four here. Three or seven here. That one could be any of them. Um, three and nine here. Well, three can't be on the end of a thermometer. Not a five digit one. That fixes five, three. Oh, I'm feeling good about this now. Um, five there. That means seven is restricted to those and can't be here. So let's take it out of there and we can put seven in on the thermometer. One and three. Oh, I could have filled those in as soon as I got the five, obviously. Um, still can't resolve those. Never mind. Five, three, one. Yes, that fixes the two. One at the top. That's one now by Sudoku. Four and eight here. It can't be a four because it's two away from a three on the thermo. Um, that eight means that eight can't be there or there. So eight there. Either of those seeing a seven or four on the thermo? No. Um, two, five, eight, four, three, one. Right, nine in column two has to be there. Six and seven. Yes, they are disambiguated by Knight's move, thanks to that. Seven. Six is now there. Two here to finish the row. Oh, this is feeling like a massive release. This is a naked single seven, thanks to that. Four on the diagonal. Four and seven there two and four down here and they are resolved by a knight's move again of course eight there the two fixes three and two and please tell me this is right um i'm just going to hit the check button it says looks good which is a huge relief um that obviously isn't checking the knight's move and thermo restrictions but i am pretty confident about them so let's hope i haven't made a mistake on that what a puzzle. That is another head wrecker. I mean, absolutely mad. Thanks very much for following along with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, do let me know, actually, if this was the way to get through it, was spotting that, that at the start, instead of the chain I did, which I know won't please some people. It actually pleases me quite a lot, but uh, I'm different. If spotting that had to be the same as that, and maybe that that had to be the same as that, was the early key it might well have, it might well have been i don't think it applied for that though it applied for this because of the thermo have none of these digits on the thermo even at the very beginning could be the same as that so maybe if you spotted that it helps get it done maybe it doesn't i don't know anyway thanks very much for watching thanks to matthew for sending it and uh 
Congratulations if you got through that one. Uh, good fun. See you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.